Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Saturn over here at C3 Vapors. I'm just taking a moment out of my uh, doing some online stuff, and I thought I'd talk about a new juice line we got in Serrano Vape. I was really uh, apprehensive at first to bring it in, but my employees were just. I mean, you gotta you gotta believe in the team. That when the team tells you that this juice is probably the best juice they've ever had, and that we have to carry it, there was no like, oh, maybe we should pick it up. It was, you better pick it up. Like, this shit's fine. And so I kind of looked at it first. I have a bottle of it right here. It is Serrano Vape. The flavor I'm featuring tonight is the res. See right there? The res. Now at first, bottling looks nice. It's a 35 mil, which I was kind of stoked on because it has a little advantage over the other 30 mils on my shelf. Very nice labeling, very well detailed. Expiration date on there. Expiration date it says it expires 2017. Oh, hey, let me see if I get a good view of the camera right there at the bottom. Here we go. Let it focus in. Expiration date. Follow up was good. Had a little red coloring to it, so I was kind of apprehensive at first. But the uh, owner of the company, Ruben, explained to me that it's a pomegranate extract, and he had a great story behind the juice, the res, and all the lines that he carries. Um, so I thought I'd give it a try, and my staff was right. This thing flies off of my shelf. We do about five to a thousand bottles a month, give or take. Uh, it's my number one juice, number one seller almost every day. Um, so I was going to do a little review on it because I've been just personally in love with it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to vape it out of a couple different things. Uh, sometimes some juices work really good in a tank. Some juices work really good off the mod different builds. So I got a couple different mods with me, a couple different builds. First one's this, uh, the new Segele 75 watt with temperature control. Now I'm using a Hercules tank, so temperature control really doesn't come into play. I got a 0.6 coil. I'm roughly at about 60 watts uh, using in this thing a rewrap, but a Sony VCT5 battery. Cool little mod. I'll do a review on this another time. But we're concentrating on the juice of the res right now. So, Nice color. As far as I've had my experience, hasn't screwed my cotton up in my coils, hasn't screwed my tanks up in my Jenny. Really doesn't leak. Now it is a 90% VG, 10% PG blend, so it is max VG juice. You get a really good cloud of it. So let's start with the little guy first, see what it can do. And now it's time for a tasty vape. Nice cloud. The stuff just tastes smooth. Now, for a high BG juice, I wasn't expecting much flavor, but it has a ton of flavor. So, let's take another rip off it. It's a standard, very good daily juice. Like, literally, like my customers that have been getting turned on to it. Uh, it is a watermelon candy, kind of reminiscent of like a Jolly Rancher but not as sugary, it's not overly sweet. It's very natural, very clean, very good tasting on the lungs. Um, next thing I'm gonna break out is my Tugboat V2. Um, zombie edition. Um, on this thing, I believe we got a uh, six wrap, 26 gauge, just a basic build on it. You know, your standard uh, non-bleached organic cotton. So, I'm going to go ahead and load it up real quick with uh, some tastiness, some delicious tastiness. Um, so, yeah, so Serrano, really good stuff. I like it because it's got a nice cloud. It's great if you're doing like a, an in-shop cloud contest. It's going to work really well for you. Um, like I said, at first, I was kind of apprehensive to bring it in. I've never heard of the name before, but the guy Ruben came in. He's very nice, very well-spoken, um, very professional. It's nice to deal with juice reps in the industry that are actually professional. Um, And you get actually a really, really good cloud on it. And I even got my ceiling fan on right now. And it's still a great exhale, great taste. 
doesn't have a heavy aftertaste, doesn't leave like a bad, like milky or tarry or weird taste on the palate where you're like doing this. You're just like, like what was that? And there are juices out there that when you vape them, you're like, <laughs> so anyways, next one I'm gonna move over to test it out on is the Prelude by All About Vape, 8.4 volt, uh, unregulated box mod. I got this thing built at 0.7 with like a 28 gauge tin wrap on there and just good old standard cotton. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this one up. Show you after I rip this kind of what the cotton looks like. Now I'm not on fresh cotton, I wish I was, but I like to break the cotton in a little bit first to get the full flavor. So this thing I'm running the Kennedy RDA V2 on um, with the Matt Bennett BT Custom Slam Cat. Really, the Slam Cat sometimes gets a little warm. Totally changes the whole flavor of the Kennedy. I personally fucking love it. So, um, let's go ahead and take a couple pulls off this guy. Now, a secret to this juice that we found out here in the store, so good, is that, uh, first of all, I like the, the Bennett cap because I can drip right through the top of it. Hit the center post to re with my cotton. Um, juice is really cool. It's great right out of the bottle. It's absolutely phenomenal. But the other thing I like to do with it is me, I'm a menthol guy, so I add a little bit of menthol to it. Bomb.com. Like the menthol is really good on it. Um, if you're one of those guys that like a little bit of menthol, you can mix a little menthol into it. It tastes phenomenal still. It doesn't like ruin the flavor. The menthol doesn't overpower the natural flavoring. It's actually really, really smooth. I'm not a cloud comp guy. I'm not a big cloud blower. I'm just your average vapor. Just an average guy, but it's a really intense flavor when it hits the palate. It's a very true watermelon flavor. It doesn't taste like there's a bunch of stuff in it. Real simple ingredients. Um, Serrano's made in an ISO 8 lab, which really impressed me because there's still a lot of juice companies that are still just, you know, bottling in a laboratory. They aren't full production. They employ two chemists on staff so that every batch we've got, and we ran through about 25 to 30 shipments so far, every batch has been absolutely immaculately precise consistent. There's been no variation. We haven't got a batch yet where it tasted different than the other stuff because it wasn't properly prepared or mixed properly. Like really the Native Americans and Reuben himself and his family that's producing this juice is taking an attention